Introducing the Plurivac A7000 Chest Drainage Series, providing reliable patient safety and efficiency for healthcare providers and their patients. Setting up the Plurivac A7000 Series is a three-step process. The first step is to establish the water seal. Fill the water seal chamber through the short suction tube using the enclosed funnel. Crimp the tubing by holding the funnel below the top of the plurivac unit. Fill the funnel to the indicated line. Now raise the funnel above the plurivac unit. The water seal chamber will fill to the 2 cm level. Second is filling the suction control chamber. This is the suction control chamber. With the Plurivac A7000, water is used to operate the suction control. The level of water in this chamber controls the imposed level of suction or negative pressure. To set the level of imposed suction, fill the suction control chamber through the atmospheric vent to the desired level. The muffler may be rotated out of the way for easy filling. Be sure to replace the muffler. Connect the short suction tube to the suction source and slowly increase suction until gentle bubbling occurs in the suction controlled chamber. Gentle bubbling confirms the set level of suction is being maintained. This bubbling will cause evaporation over time. Fluids may be added while suction is temporarily discontinued. Use the atmospheric vent or self sealing diaphragm on the face of the unit with an 18 gauge or smaller needle. Increasing the level of water increases the imposed suction and decreasing it decreases the level of suction. When suction is not being used, keeping the suction tube uncapped and unclamped is recommended. This allows air to exit freely from the patient. Using the patient connector attached to the 6-foot patient's tube. Connect the tube from the collection chamber to the patient's thoracic catheter. The patient now has the protection of the water seal. The water seal serves three purposes. Due to its U-tube design it acts as a one-way valve, allowing evacuation of air from the patient's chest cavity, but preventing its re-entry under normal conditions. It serves as a measuring device for monitoring patient negativity, which is the negative pressure in the patient's pleural space. The third purpose is to monitor patient air leaks. Patient negativity can be determined by adding the level of imposed suction to the number corresponding with the water level in the water seal. For example, 20 cm of water in the suction chamber is added to 5 cm of water in the water seal chamber. This equals 25 cm of water or the total amount of negative pressure in the patient's chest cavity. There are instances when a patient will develop a high level of negative pressure. This may occur with respiratory distress, coughing, crying or other factors such as stripping the chest tubes. When negativity increases, the water will rise in the water seal. If the water rises beyond the minus 20 cm level, the white float ball rises, impeding the flow of water. Although water will rise beyond the valve, there is a high negativity relief chamber above the valve to contain the water. Regardless of how high the patient negativity rises, water will not spill over into the collection chamber. This unique relief chamber allows the patient to develop negative pressure as high as needed for inspiration. However, in instances of unintentionally imposed high negative pressure, such as with stripping the chest tubes, water will continue to rise, filling the high negativity relief chamber, which will automatically vent excessive negative pressure. The high negativity relief valve can be used any time to manually vent excessive negativity. When this valve is depressed, filtered air enters the unit and the water level in the water seal is reduced. Caution. If suction is not operative while depressing this valve, negative pressure may be reduced to zero atmosphere. On the back of the unit at the top of the water seal is the positive pressure relief valve. If suction tubing is blocked or occluded in any way, this valve provides a backup for air to exit from the plurivac unit. Any positive pressure that bubbles through the water seal not drawn off through the suction tubing will be released through this valve. Patency of the tubing may be observed as the tightling of water in the water seal chamber. On the front of the water seal chamber is a self-sealing diaphragm for adding or withdrawing fluid. 
Use a 1.5 inch 18 gauge or smaller needle attached to a syringe. Angle the needle downward. Fluid may need to be withdrawn if the water seal is accidentally overfilled or added if fluid in the water seal chamber evaporates. Evaporation may occur in the presence of a large patient air leak. If there is an air leak, bubbling will appear in the patented patient air leak meter. The meter is calibrated from 1 to 7, from low to high. Chart the column farthest to the left, in which the column of bubbles appears. By observing which column is bubbling it can be determined whether the air leak is increasing, decreasing, or constant. At the junction where the 6-foot patient tube connects to the collection chamber, anti-kink tubing is provided as a standard feature. On adult pediatric units the patient tube also contains a sampling port, allowing fresh specimens of patient drainage to be taken whenever needed. A standard lower lock syringe may be used for this purpose. The collection chamber on the adult pediatric Plurivac A7000 unit consists of four interconnected columns with a total capacity of approximately 2,500 milliliters. The first column measures in fine increments of 1 cc from 0 to 100 milliliters. From 106 to 200 milliliters increments are 2 ml and then 5 ml for the remainder of the collection chamber. Fluids fill the first column and then spill over into the second. After the second column fills, the fluid spills over into the third and subsequently to the fourth. The white measuring stripes can be used to record the rate of patient drainage. The adult pediatric Plurivac A7000 unit is a double collection chamber unit. Two patient tubes are provided for drainage into two separate collection chambers. The minor collection chamber has a capacity of 950 milliliters, while the major collection chamber has a capacity of 1,900 milliliters. The water seal and dry suction control chambers are identical to the other units in the Plurivac A7000 series. The Plurivac A7000 series provides unmatched diagnostic capabilities, reliable patient safety, and maximum precision, affording the user the utmost in convenience and confidence. The Plurivac A7000 Chest Drainage Series Another breakthrough that reflects our commitment to attaining unprecedented levels of patient care. For information about the Plurivac A7000 Chest Drainage Series, please contact your local Teleflex Medical Surgical Specialist.